What's going on everyone? It is Joe DeLone. We're back with another review. Today, obviously, I have peat moss spreaders in front of me. I've talked about the Lanzi in my past, but this one is a new one today. We're gonna determine which one is better, the Easy Do or the Lanzi. Let's get started. So obviously, peat moss spreaders are great for spreading peat moss. They really are a lifesaver. I've used them for the past two seasons now. Now, peat moss is obviously, you know, it's a it's a controversial topic right now uh, across the YouTube space, whether you should use peat moss or not. Um, me personally, I don't mind using it. Uh, it. It is a dirty job. Either way, even if you use one of these, you're gonna get dirty. Peat moss is just a, it gets on you, it's dusty. So, but you really don't need, uh, if you watch a lot of videos out there like I do, you really don't need a top dressing or a peat moss on top of seed when you go do, to do a seeding. Um, you can use sand in both of these. Uh, compost you can use as well. Um, I've used topsoil in the Lanzi before and it has worked fine. I've used peat moss in the Lanzi before. This year, I used peat moss in the Easy Do. But there's a couple downfalls with this one and there's a couple downfalls with this one as well. So let's talk about them. The great thing about today's comparison video is that they are the same size. They are both 24 inches wide. So it's really easy to compare the two, but you'll notice that I, I, from a distance, they look pretty much the same. Obviously one's black, one's green. Lancy, you know, they're, they're known for their green on all their products. But you can see uh, just by looking at it right now, just from the distance, you can see how more of the mesh is here in the easy do. Here, you can see how the mesh has these little bars that go across it for, I'm, I'm assuming that's for a structural support. Um, again, when you're going to roll this, these little bars right here, that the peat moss or compost sand, whatever, it's not gonna drop out of those little spots right there where you see those bars. I, to me, that doesn't really, you know, deter me from using the Lanty. Um, one of the biggest differences are the latches. So the latches on both the Lanzi and the Easy Do are completely different. One is definitely better than the other, but let me show you how they work first. So the Lanzi here, you have two little clips here at the top. All you have to do is flick them up and then the door folds down. The Easy Do over here has latches on its side. They are definitely a little bit bigger latches than the Lanzi, but again, the door folds down. So obviously the great thing about these peat moss spreaders is that it holds these little clumps in the peat moss spreader. So those big clumps don't get out in your yard. That's a great thing about these, the, how the way they're built with the mesh, but the Easy Do has a problem with the latches. So as you can see here, the Easy Do, again, it has the latches on the side. What I don't like about these e Easy Do latches being on the side is if they get busted, just like this one here, it's going to hit this bar when it's rolling around. So as you can see, I, I busted this a couple times. And what was happening was, is when this got busted, this kept unlatching on me. And a couple times, this would open on me and I was letting more out than I should have. You can see here that these clips pretty much, they're almost so somewhat screwed in, it seems like, into the metal. But this latch right here, I mean, it's, I could probably bang this out and make it work. And, but I was hitting this a lot and I and, and it was just when I was going along a lot and it was just hitting it and I can see why this could break again and then another thing that I didn't like was you could see here you can almost see how it bent here one time what happened was I was leaning on this with my hand and I pushed it down this metal must be pretty soft and that was another thing I noticed was you can see here, you see that little groove right there. So again, peat moss is going to be flowing out of here because it's not closed in anymore. Could I bang this out? Possibly. But this metal, you know, it's pretty thin. So there's not much I can do. And just for comparison, as you can see here, as the Lanzi folds down, you have one clip here. You have another clip here. And you can see how it kind of locks this in together. Is there a little, there's a little, is there a little space right here? Yeah, I would say there is a little bit of space, but it's better than that big of a gap that I have over there from pushing on it. I mean, I could push on this and bend this as well, but the great thing is, is these, cl these clips right here are kind of holding it together. So the handles here are rubber 
on both of them or some sort of I would say some sort of rubber um, you can turn these but it's kind of hard to you're really just pushing this along haven't had a problem of this falling off or the easy do over here same thing rubber I can turn this but again this hasn't really fallen off this had this obviously has gotten damaged and that kind of is probably eventually going to tear off but other than that, the handles are pretty comfortable to push. Now, assembly between the two, they come very differently. Now, the Lanzi over here comes pretty much fully assembled. The arm here comes already attached to the drum. The handle is actually inside the drum. So all you have to do is undo the, the door and just attach the handle right here to this quick connect and then you're done. Now, the easy do, it, it was a little bit of a challenge, I, I'll have to admit. Um, it, if, I almost needed two people to do it. So what happened was is, is the handle here or the bar, the arm that goes around was not connected to the drum. Now it's pretty simple. It's a washer over here. There's a, uh, a little cotter pin attachment in there as you can see. Uh, you did have to feed this through. You had to put that cotter pin in there to hold it. So there was some assembly in there. Would I say that most people could do it? Yeah, an average DIYer could do that. And then over here you have, again, just like the Lanzi, you have these clips right here. So it's very easy to touch, attach the handle to the rest of the arm right here that attaches to the drum. So I'm not gonna go into a full in-depth on how these work. I, there are a ton of videos out there. If you wanna go watch the video that I put together on the Lanzi, on how many bags per 1,000 square feet you would need a peat moss, go check out that video below. I did that last year and it was pretty accurate when I went to go do my fall overseed in 2021. But in my humble opinion, my non-affiliated opinion between the two, which one I would pick is the Lanzi. Now, obviously these are, you know, they're $200 plus. I mean, that is a decent amount of money to spend on both of these peat moss spreaders. And obviously this is something that you're not really gonna use a lot. You're only gonna use it maybe once or twice a year, if that. I've rented mine out. I've made, I pretty much have made back my money that I paid for the Lanzi at this point. Uh, easy do, they sent theirs out to me at no cost but i'm going to give you an honest review and that's what i do i give you an honest review because if you're going to go and purchase something like the easy do or the lanzi i want you guys to understand everything about these and learn from my experiences with them as well that's why i picked the lanzi over the easy do those clips on the easy do i like i said i was telling you guys earlier i almost stopped at one point using the easy do and went and to my shed to get out the lanzi because it, it, I was having a lot of trouble and I think if they could fix that design and maybe make it similar to the Lanzi and now I don't I don't know if this stuff's patent or copyrighted or anything like that I don't know if they could make it like the Lanzi and they could get in trouble or anything like that but if they could fix those clips being on the side like they do I think it was a great intention I think it was a great idea uh, because you get a more of a mesh around the drum as opposed to here where you have those where i was showing you earlier where you have those different rectangle pieces to kind of hold that drum together i think they had good intentions with the easy do but with that lancy those clips i've never had a problem and i've rented this out a bunch of times last year and this year i've made my money back on the lancy uh over again so you know again i'm gonna pick the lancy so just a quick video for you guys here today to compare the two I hope you guys found it helpful. Um, again, this is my 100% personal opinion. Uh, this is just my experience from using both of these machines. So please let me know if you have used either one of these, let me know what you guys like about the Lanzi or the Easy Do. If you found today's video helpful, make sure you smash that like button. It really does help out with the channel. And if you're interested in any of my other content, I'm available on TikTok, I'm available on Instagram. Go check me out there. And like always guys, I'll see you in the next one.